The stars were out and shining at the 2012 TV Week Logie Awards. Entertainment Daily was on the red carpet at Melbourne's Crown Casino as Aussie celebs and international megastars came together to celebrate the best in Australian television. How are you feeling tonight? All this excitement in the air. I'm just excited following, who's this boy band? I don't know. I'm, we've got to follow the direction. I'm looking forward to seeing One Direction. Got to admit. <laughs> <laughs> he really didn't want to if admit I wasn't that. Here, I'd be out there. <laughs> Did you guys get anywhere near One Direction? Did you talk to them? Doesn't matter. Don't need to. Just be in their aura. That's what I did. Just get a few pheromones on them. I stole one of their hairs. I turned up yesterday to Crown and there were people everywhere screaming girls. I thought, finally, George got the recognition that he deserved. <laughs> so there's like some big names here tonight, like international names, like Seal and of course One Direction. And people are all excited about it. And I'm seeing a sign of all the signs you could see tonight. Someone's holding up, we love the Bondi vet. I've seen everything. How are you feeling tonight? Nominated? That's very exciting. So exciting. Ooh. Oh, a bit nervous, but excited as well. Very excited yeah, to be here. Yeah, decided. Decided. Yeah. Combination. I'm feeling great. Um, my best bud over there is nominated for gold, so I look forward to um, kissing him passionately when he wins or loses. So it's a win for me, both ways. Congratulations. How are you feeling about it? I, it's a bit sad because I don't think I will win. So this is sort of like the last bit where you get to pretend to all your family and friends that you will. I feel a bit guilty too because my grandma's ringing me up going, I voted four times. And I say to her, look, that's undemocratic. You should probably only do it once. No, I'm just excited to be nominated. To be you know, perfectly honest, it was an absolute shock. So I think about the people I'm nominated with and they're all people I love on TV. So to kind of be in that, in that category is a real honour. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. But to be here is fantastic. To be on a Foxtel show, which is fantastic. And to see the clip at the Logies, kind of, I'm not going to say that's enough because I would like to win, but it's almost enough. It's, it's nice. What's the best part about the Logies for you? Uh, I don't know, talk to me in a couple of hours and, uh, you know, I might have a different story. Winning. This year's nominees included David Wenham and Diana Glenn, both nominated for Silver Logies for their standout performances in TV One's hit drama, Killing Time. I'm so pleased that the Logies are recognising Killing Time, that it's being recognised because it's such a great show and so I feel really proud. I feel proud to be nominated. The 2012 Logies was the best place to see all your favourite actors wearing the very best of designer couture. Tell me about your dress. Um, it's made by Stephen Khalil, who's very, very clever, and I feel so lucky to be able to wear such a, a gorgeous frog. It is a gorgeous custom-made one off Alex Perry. This is by Burberry, so it's from their pre-fall collection. My outfit is by Gwendolyn, who's a Melbourne designer, and um, it's beautifully beaded. I've got beautiful jewellery by Kosminski, and I feel like a princess. A host of special international guests were in town to join in the celebrations. Entertainment Daily caught up with some of the night's big winners after the ceremony. The audience means so much to me because I care so much about the audience enjoying it because I enjoy it so much. Surprised, even though the sports bet, I checked sports bet and I saw that I was the favourite <laughs> and I was, the odds were pretty good. It's a seven day a week job from six in the morning till 10, 11 at night and something like this, a, a Logie, is absolutely outstanding. I was so convinced it was going to be Hamish Blake that I just went, yeah, say Hamish, they, no, no, oh my God, I think were my exact words. The depth of talent is is extraordinary. It's 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 um, more than even any of us expected. It was oh, it was what? off that hizzle. Baby, love, 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 the party yesterday. Trying to make fun of you, but I know the words, so I'm the fool. There's a lot of celebrities around. Is there anyone you've got your eye on? Oh, yeah. Well, Manu, Manu. I did like say Manu. Manu, and I'll be seeing him and later Carl on. And Stefanovic pushes my buttons. Wolf. Yeah, Wolf. Yeah, cool. And what about Dickie Wilkins? You've got oh, a little soft spot for great. him. I love his hair. Mm, powerful gorgeous. hair. Anybody with powerful yes. hair. It's been a ratings winner for 18 years because these people know what they're talking about. That's it. Beginning and end, and people like that. As an actor, um, you are just trying to maintain the emotional truth. You know, I was just a little bit overcome, I think, looking down at Ando going, well, you know, this is, this is to a lot of people kind of one of the, you know, the big night in television. And uh, it felt a little bit weird to not have him next to me. Full episodes of Entertainment Daily are now available online at tv1.com.au.